I love my job, I love being a police officer, but there are times when emotions can just overwhelm you. You're lying awake at 2am and that vision comes into your eyes, what you saw on that one call that carries with you. There was very much an attitude of you've got to be tough to be in mountain rescue. You can't get phased if you happen to see something traumatic. You were told to man up. You were seen as some robot that was running towards danger while other people were running away. That was so false. I suffered from mental ill health uh, for as long as I can remember. In the late 90s, I had a breakdown and I decided to take my own life. I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, anxiety and depression. I was in a, a very, very bad place. It was a constant mental battle, if you like, being a police officer and indeed with the other emergency services. People need our staff at the worst, on the worst day of their life. My biggest concern with people who witness that every day is that's a drip, drip, drip effect. That's why it's important that mental health really is on the agenda so that we can understand these feelings and work with them prior to them becoming out of hand. The Blue Light programme has definitely changed people's lives and how they perceive mental health. People talk about mental health now more openly than they never used to. When I returned to work following my illness, I was told to just get on with it. That stigma is going away. Two years ago, had a bit of a lapse in my mental health. I decided to be open with the team and tell them about my bipolar disorder. I had an influx of others able to share their own personal struggles. It made me realise that we needed to do a lot more. That's why I'm here to ban the drum about, yes, OK, I, I have experienced mental health problems. I asked for assistance through the Blue Light programme. It doesn't make me a weak person. I'm happy and proud to be who I am, but I want others to be too. We're so busy looking after all the other people, but not looking after ourselves. I became a Mind Blue Light champion. And the information I get through is absolutely brilliant and, and first class, which I can cascade down to others. We've used a lot of the resources that are available online. Three of the team are qualified mental health first aiders. And then we now do bespoke call-out scenarios where the person that we're looking for will have a mental health condition. The supervisors themselves have got an extra degree of understanding of mental ill health, where they can be signposted to for further help. So it's been a massive difference. The Blue Light programme significantly changed my life in a period of time where I couldn't be the smiley, happy mum anymore and the confident manager. They were really, really good in getting me back on my feet really quickly. When I first started on this journey, a shy, really nervous individual being allowed to come out and talk about my lived experience, it was kind of a, a two-way thing and it's helping me move forward in my life. We've now got a great group of peer supporters within West Yorkshire Police, a really good team, and I'll happily talk to any of those about how I'm feeling. We're just the acorn. We've got to grow into the oak tree, I and mean, we want to have regular multi-agency meetings to maintain that we carry this programme forward. If you can find the bravery to speak up about it, the support is definitely there. You know, I just needed that bit of concentrated support. I was in a situation where I'd attempted to take my own life, and what I don't want is people to be in that situation, because I've been there and I can fully understand how you feel. If I can talk about it, then you can talk about it.